the jungles of Indonesia. A world of beauty and mystery. As night approaches, the jungle's inhabitants get on edge. Because strange creatures emerge in the dark. As darkness falls, the cries of two million winged predators pierce the jungle sky. Mammals who fly like birds. Wrinkled-lipped bats. This cave is their dominion. While they only average a foot in length from wingtip to wingtip, what they lack in size, they make up for in number. Millions roost in the darkness of this cave, resting and waiting, preparing for dusk and the chance to feed. Their ceaseless cries aid them in echolocation. This sixth sense works like sonar, and they use it to find their prey. Echolocation helps each half ounce bat devour around one ton of insects per year. But the bats are not alone in their cave. Others have been waiting for this moment. Water monitors. These massive lizards are usually most active during the day. But the ones in this cave have learned of the bat's schedule. waiting every night for their flying neighbors to take to the sky. Water monitors can grow over six feet long, making them the second largest lizard species in the world. They patrol this lake of guano, which the bats overhead drop a ton into every month. The pool of filth doesn't deter the lizards, who are considered one of the most intelligent reptiles on the planet. And they are here for one reason. With millions of bats in a frenzy, accidents are bound to happen. Every stroke this bat takes alerts the monitors to his position.
His only hope for survival. Reaching shore before these hunters reach him. It's the first bat to fall tonight. The killing has only begun. Falling into a lake of guano is a death sentence. And only a lucky few make it to shore. But there is more than one way to die in this cave. Even the ground here will eat you. Because the nutrient-rich bat guano is home to trillions of flesh-eating organisms. Cockroaches embrace disease-ridden environments like this. And the ones in this cave are hunters. Packs of them descend on bats who wander from the colony to eat them alive. With wings weighed down by sticky guano, flying's not an option, but neither is staying on the cave floor. This exhausted female has only one avenue of escape left. She has to climb. But the risk is worth it. If she can reach the protection of the colony, she has a chance. But she has a long way to go. articulated pythons and white-lipped pit vipers perch in silence on the cave walls to catch unsuspecting prey. To succeed, their timing must be perfect. The slightest miscalculation is the difference between life and death. This python locks onto a much easier target. But the python is too slow. His target disappears back into the mass of bats. 
safe within her colony. But as long as night consumes the jungle, bats run the gauntlet as they leave to hunt. The python only has to wait. For the perfect moment. To strike. 